Trevor's world was a spectrum of pinks and reds. Lips, full or thin, glossy or matte, the brushstrokes of his daily masterpiece. A lip fetishist he'd come to terms with that label years ago. But the mundane rhythm of his life, punctuated by the same faces on the same train, had dulled the vibrancy of his obsession. Then, there was her. She appeared like a mirage on the platform one morning, a splash of crimson against the grey canvas of commuters. Her lips were the kind that drew eyes, full and inviting, a shade of red that hinted at both danger and desire. Trevor was instantly captivated, his heart pounding a staccato rhythm against his ribs. Their encounters were brief, stolen moments in the confines of a metal carriage. He'd watch her as she read, the curve of her lips turning up in a silent smile, or when she'd talk, her lips moving with an almost hypnotic grace. It was a dangerous game, this silent admiration he couldn't look away. One morning, as the train lurched, Trevor stumbled and almost fell. A strong hand reached out, steadying him. Their eyes met, hers wide with concern. As their fingers brushed, a jolt of electricity coursed through him. He saw her lips mere inches away, and for a split second, he wanted nothing more than to trace their outline with his finger. The train screeched to a halt, breaking the spell. He stumbled out, the world a blur of colours. As he turned to look back, she was gone, disappearing into the crowd like a phantom. But the memory of her lips, soft and warm in his imagination, stayed with him, a vibrant hue in the otherwise monochromatic palette of his life. Trevor knew it was a fleeting encounter, a moment suspended in time. But as the train doors slid shut, he found himself looking forward to the next day, with a hope he hadn't felt in a long time. Perhaps their paths would cross again.